15, 2007. We're here at the Circle Cinema in Tulsa. And we're pleased to have Mr. Ted Kirkendall of Tulsa, who was in the Navy and uh, reached the rank of warrant electrician. And um, Mr. Kirkendall, thank you for joining us this evening. Thank you. And I just uh, would like to ask you to tell us your story, if you would. <laughs> of course, when, uh, I just like a lot of them at the time I got out of school and uh, jobs were not that plentiful at that time. And uh, more thought about it and whatnot, I decided that the news reports from Europe was it in uh, Germany and uh, war over there. I figured if I was going to probably go into the service. And uh, I was never was much of a camper. I didn't want to sleep outside all the time in the foxhole, so I decided I'd go into the Navy. So <clears throat> I did join the Navy. 5th of January 1940 and went to boot camp and then uh, special detail down there and then was signed to the uh, Nevada which was a sister ship of the Oklahoma and uh, left San Diego on the old Nietzsche's oil tanker and I got out to Pearl on the 1st of June 1940 and I went aboard in Nevada and I spent some time in the deck force there and I uh, went to a gunnery school on the old Utah for a couple of weeks and then uh, yeah, later on got transferred in the electrical division, uh, electrician mate. And uh, I had the duty on the weekend, of the, the sixth and seventh of duty. We just come into Pearl on the fifth offloading ammunition, had an ammunition barge alongside of us, worked on the stern crane that night, and then I had a mid-watch, Solly and I had mid-watch, and then got off at four o'clock the next morning and <laughs> tried to take a nap, and then there was trouble with the starboard boat crane, so we was up there working on it, and at the time, and then when the band was getting up on the fan tail, ready to play colors, and in the meantime, we heard a lot of conflict and noise, machine gun fire over to Heckham Field. And of course, our thought was the stupid damn army is holding the drills on Sunday, and uh, and colors sounded, and we standing there saluting colors, and one of them made a pass across the ship, and old dude Cottrell, bless his heart, he's it's those blanky blank chaps. <laughs> I don't think he had a run of that ladder going down to his battle station. <laughs> we, uh, everybody went to their own battle stations, and from there it was hectic, this devil, all day long. Part of it I remember well, and part of it I don't remember a thing about it. I mean, so uh, I was involved in that one day in less than two hours, and we were sitting on the beach, and they only ship was, well, we was the old, oldest battleship out there. And uh, the only battleship to get underway. And of course, I always said that uh, by that term, proved one thing that age was not a determining factor about being able to do things. <laughs> but anyhow, the in route out the channel, I, we got hit. But bombs and this, that, and the other, and uh, they pushed us over on the beach. Uh, we sat there, and then we finally went under. Everything below the main deck was underwater. And, uh, they built a patch, 40 by 60 foot, hauled it out there and lowered it over the hole to uh, close, close off the opening where the torpedo had hit, and they started pumping her out. And uh, as they pumped the water out of the hull, uh, we was salvaging all the material and uh, equipment as we could. There was uh, one of them, a group of them went down to open the hatch on the uh, after steering room, I remember that. And uh, two of them got gassed. George Clarkson, the lieutenant, and Pete DeVries was a uh, he was the only plank he had on the ship. 
and uh, they both got killed from that gas that was off this uh, stuff in that compartment. And uh, but when he when he had got the ship uh, uh, floated and went in dry dock and patched up and then brought her back to the states under her own power, which was a, quite an event. I think there's probably more two Medal of Honor awarded to people on the ship, and uh, I don't know how many silver stars and this, that, and the other, and I think 11 or 12 DEs and DDs named after guys on the ship, so it was on a sort of soft spot in my heart toward the old ship because there's a lot of my to find shipmates of mine. Was, was she able to return fire <coughs> during the attack? Our AA battery was to a certain extent, and uh, of course the uh, crane had been trained over part of the guns, but hampered them. But uh, she did uh, return fire, and well, uh, I think she was credited with some some planes shot down. I don't know, but uh, it was just one hellacious hell of a day because everybody was confused to begin with, and. Uh, and what, a lot of them just getting ready to go to church and mass and uh, a bunch of them was just getting up and so uh, sort of the old saying goes to get caught with your pants down and I think we were what, what were your thoughts at the time of the attack do you remember well at the time I uh really too damn busy to do, do much thinking otherwise other than uh, doing what I was supposed to do and uh, I was down on I was in repair one and that uh, of course it got blew up so a lot of the rest of the day I I can't recall too much some of it I mean there's parts of it that I even recall and there's other parts that just blank to me and so I mean, sort of blank like a lot of other things in old head anymore it was a, I, I don't think that there's anybody, oh, there's no doubt there's always there's somebody in a group like that, but I don't think there was anybody that didn't go ahead and do their job and do what they're trained to do and trained and, and everybody, like everybody else, they griped and growled about the training and their uh, stuff they went through all the time, but it, it paid off in the long run. And uh, so uh, I think it was a, I defined crew of guys, that, uh, and I always felt honored to be able to serve with them. Have you, have you made it back to Pearl? I was over there last December for the 65th anniversary, and uh, it was, of course, every time I go back over there, well, I always go up and pay my respects upon Red Hill, or, uh, well, it's a bunch of old crater now, National Cemetery, or oh, Ed Hill was the uh, boatsman repair one and uh, he was awarded the uh, Medal of Honor and he's buried there upon, uh, in the punch bowl and I always go up and pay his respects to him and uh, that, that's a beautiful memorial that they got to the whole cemetery out there and, uh, but I uh, I get a little weepy eyed sometimes when I get to thinking about different things out there and, but I, I did, daughter and I went out last December for the 65th anniversary, and it was quite an eventful time. It, uh, they had uh, made a special effort to honor the crew off the old Nevada, and uh, so uh, over on Ford Island, they uh, gave us some great honors over there and presented us a flag that had flown over the memorial. It got just a little bit, a little bit weepy, <laughs> but I'm just so thankful that it turned out the way it did. That, oh, you can always think it could be better, but everybody had done what they're supposed to do and the best they could do it, and fate has its time. We were, went ahead, and all the other ships pitched in. There's 
know, just one ship. It was all a lot of them. There's 96 ships in the harbor at that time, so it was it was a united effort and got started. I uh, I was fortunate. I was very very fortunate. After uh, after that day, we salvaged the ship and brought her back to the States and then I was went to gyro school, <laughs> got new construction on a little gasoline tanker, and hauled av gas all over the different parts of the South Pacific out there. Got to spend Christmas Eve in uh, Tokyo in the uh, Empress Palace uh, parade grounds. <laughs> and Tokyo by that time had been burnt from fire bombs and uh, it looked like a tornado to come through it. And shortly thereafter, why well, I decided instead of staying in the Navy, why well, I'd, I'd get out. I got married, a little girl from home. She came out and we got married in the chapel, in the San Francisco chapel. And uh, then I got paid off went down to New Orleans to get paid off and then come back here and started looking for a job. Went to work for a utility company and worked for them a while in state utility and then finally went with the Southwestern Power. Finally retired from them. And uh, so sort of been trying to enjoy what life we got left. And the uh, odd thing is that all the guys that we worked with uh, Sports started up at uh, public service. I think out of the 14 was in that one department up there, and I'm the only one left now, so I'm just hanging in there. <laughs> Taking it a day at a time and thanking God for what we got because we've got so much to be thankful for in this country. And, and uh, Lord, I just ask the Lord to bless our poison service because they need it wherever they're at here or uh, abroad or where but we owe so much to them because the country always calls on the younger people to do our fighting for us that's just uh, the old ones calls the trouble and the young ones settled. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>